In today's lecture, we will discuss few intestinal obstruction conditions, starting with the paralytic ileus. So, what do you understand by this term paralytic ileus? In simple terms, paralytic ileus is an occlusion or a paralysis of bowel which prevents the forward passage of the intestinal contents. Or you can also define paralytic ileus as the impaired intestinal motility. If there is impaired motility or intestinal motility which occurs due to the failure of transmission of the peristaltic waves. If there is failure of these peristaltic waves, there won't be any motility and due to this impaired motility, there will be collection of the gas and fluid in the bowel. Okay, there will be collection of the gas and fluid in the bowel or in short, there will be bowel obstruction. Now, this is mainly caused by the neuromuscular failure. Okay, it is mainly caused due to the neuromuscular failure. Now, what are the causes of these neuromuscular failures? This can be due to some abdominal surgeries or intra-abdominal inflammation which may include abscess, sepsis like condition, dyselectrolytemia, spinal cord injuries and drugs like opioids, the psychotropic agents, the anticholinergic agents and calcium channel blockers. Now here I want to mention that these drugs, the spinal cord injury, all these etiological factors have been asked in the exam. Okay. Now after that, let's move forward that the paralytic ileus depends also on the extent of surgery and how a bowel is handled during the surgery which is influenced by some conditions like sepsis, metabolic factors which includes the uremia or hypokalemia. Now here I want to highlight that the hypokalemia is the most common cause of paralytic ileus and this has been an exam question also. Along with this hypothermia can also be a condition that can lead to paralytic ileus. Now, after that, the most common segment which is affected due to this paralytic ileus is ileum. Okay, this as the name suggests, it is ileum. And the pacemaker of this bowel motility here is your fundus of the stomach. Okay, the fundus part of the stomach acts as the pacemaker of the bowel motility. After that, the last to recover, okay, the last organ to recover from paralytic ileus is cecum, okay. This has also been asked in the exam. Now, the patient with paralytic ileus presents with abdominal pain which is non-colky in nature and there is absent of bowel sounds. Now, these statements can be asked in true or false questions of paralytic ileus, okay, where a question can be framed that what kind of pain, then non colky type of pain, there is absent or presence of bowel sounds, there is absence of bowel sounds in paralytic ileus. Once we understood what is paralytic ileus and the features of paralytic ileus, we will now make the diagnosis of this condition. The first one is CECT which is used to rule out the other causes of obstruction and the investigation of choice is the abdominal x-ray. Now here in abdominal x-ray as you can see in this image the blue arrow here shows the multiple air fluid levels which is due to the collection of fluid and gas in the bowel and the yellow arrow here shows the distension and the dilated bowel loops okay now once the diagnosis is made the patient is managed by iv fluids and is kept on nil per oral and rials tube is used to decompress the bowel okay the rials tube is used to decompress the bowel and then it is necessary to correct the metabolic abnormalities like hypokalemia which is a major cause for paralytic ileus. So, this is your paralytic ileus condition. The next condition is the post-operative ileus condition 
and this is also a type of paralytic ileus which occurs due to the surgery and due to the surgery there is failure of neuromuscular transmission and if there is failure of neuromuscular transmission there will be impaired peristaltic waves okay there will be impaired peristaltic waves now here i want to mention most surgery related ileus will resolve and the earliest activity seen after the surgery is in small intestine which is within 24 hours in stomach it is within 48 hours and the longest is by colon which takes almost 3 to 5 days and colon is mainly responsible for the post operative ileus condition and this has been asked in the exam also now this is your post operative ileus condition <music>